All right, so I know what you're thinking. This ain't got nothing to do with natural hair. Where's her natural hair? I don't see no natural hair. This bitch got on a wig. Like, ain't this supposed to be a natural hair thing? First of all, it's my channel. I'm gonna post what I wanna post, all right? Just stay tuned and watch my videos and like, just appreciate my presence, like, like. And second of all, it's a protective style video. <laughs> All right, so today I'm gonna to be actually doing a hair review. And um, a hair review on this wig right here. This is my first pre-made wig that I've ever bought in, period. And just let me give you a 360 of what we got going on here, you know what I'm saying? Ooh, front profile, give it to him, give it to him, give it to him. Side. I hope the highlights popping. Is it not? No. Sad. Then other side. Ooh, yes. I can't do this. I tend too long for that shit. <laughs> Gotta do this side or whatever side. And the, the bike. But, um, yeah, this is a curly bob 10 inch wig. <laughs> from Ali Pearl Hair. I ordered it uh, about a month ago and I've been wearing it like consistently, like maybe on the weekend, stuff like that, I'll take it off and put a different wig on. So I've been wearing it for like a month and I didn't want to do like a review like initially as soon as I got the hair because I'm pretty sure we've all had a bad batch or bought hair that was not what the fuck we expected it to be. So I didn't want to make the review as soon as I got the hair because you gotta give it some time like you gotta let the hair's true colors show like first impressions are not real okay never believe a first impression <laughs> but um anyways yeah so it's been a month and be before we go any, any further can y'all not judge me this is my first pluck in a lace frontal and i don't know if it looks as bad on camera as it does in person. Now, granted, it doesn't look bad, bad in person. Basically, long story short, you can see where my wig starts and stops, and it bothers me. So, but we got filters. Like, I'll survive. But, anyways, like I said, I've had this hair for like a month, and um, yeah, let's just skip to the review and part. So, um, when I received my package, it came in this box. Obviously, the box wasn't this um, torn up when I received it, but it's been through a lot, okay? It's been through, let me try to make it look decent and presentable. It's not working. All right, mode, for, okay, got it. So it came in this box or whatever, um, and it came DHL uh, shipping as usual. Um, and a cute little box or whatever nice and sturdy ish and on the back it has instructions on how to care and hair maintenance you know it's crazy this is the first time that i've actually seen this i've never seen anything in this box the instructions are pretty you know accurate uh, other than the shampoo part me personally i don't really like shampoo i mean granted like maybe after a while of having the hair or wearing hair i use shampoo but for like my first I don't really shampoo it, I just condition it like, like once a week-ish. But yeah, little cute little instructions on the back. Um, yeah. When I first received the hair, I didn't fucking like it at all, like whatsoever. It looked really childish. And like, you know, initially when I first put it on and I first got it, like I heard a lot of jokes and shit like that. <laughs> but didn't nobody want to fight me though. Anyways, you know, I heard all my, my jury curl jokes. It's calling me Billie Jean, Michael Jackson. Uh, I think somebody was calling me Yoda Bosch. I don't see how that's applicable, but yeah. And Rick James, too. You know? But it's okay, because I fuck with it. And I was like, you're just mad because I'm rich, bitch. But anyways, yeah. So I heard all the little jokes or whatever, but it don't matter because I'm still a bad bitch. Like, or at least in the process to becoming one. 
but I like it. It's real cute, like, and curly. I did not want the hair originally to be this short. Um, I wanted it to be, like, shoulder length. I mean, and yeah, I know that hair is measured by, like, you know, the stretched length. So this, you have to pull it out to get the hair's true measurement. But when I bought it, I wasn't thinking about that. So, like I said, this is a 10 inch. I should have probably got like a 12 inch or like a 14 inch or whatever because I wanted it to be like right here. But I think it's kind of okay and kind of good that I didn't get it that long. So, I got it. I bleached the knots on the wig. Um, I don't know if you can see it, but I bleached the knots. And uh, I plucked the front of it. Now, when I first plucked it, I failed horribly. It was bad like i felt horribly um it was like a big ass like space in between where i put my edges and where my hairline was actually starting it was just bad like it was bad and actually i actually had to cut it off like my my lace stops right here and that's like really short like really short much space so let me just try to piece it back together so you can see it was legit like, like this like that's crazy look like uh, like that's too much space what was i thinking <laughs> anyways <laughs> but yeah so i went back and cut this piece off and replucked it and I was safer this time. So this is what my hairline looks like. But like I said, it's only my second time. So I'm still trying to like learn and work with it and stuff like that. Cause I don't really like know what I'm doing yet. So um when I first got it the hair was very very soft. Like I loved the texture of the hair i love the way it felt and all of that like it was so soft so soft and um so the texture was good um the density now this hair is this wig isn't really that thick granted i don't mind because of the fact that it's curly hair me personally i feel like when you get curly hair you don't really have to worry about the density as much as you would have to worry about it if the hair was straight it could be thin or whatever you spray it with water or whatever put your leave your leave-in conditioner your curl up or a smoothie or whatever on it and you pluck it out and it, it looks full like it doesn't really matter like you're good don't even have nothing to worry about at all whatsoever i'm popping curls popping on fleek like world i'm here come and get me um the curl pattern love 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 it now the reason why i'm actually talking about the curl i'm like why the fuck is she talking about the curl i'm like obviously it's going to be curly you bought curly hair that's not true it is very very rare that you buy hair and you wash it and it goes snaps right back to the same initial curl pattern that it had when you first bought it so that's why that is a You know I smelled the wig. But um the smell wasn't really like it didn't really ever smell to me. So um it like you know like sometimes when you buy the wig or whatever, it'd be smelling like a factory or whatever. But this here is pretty good. I didn't really have a smell at all whatsoever, so thumbs up on that part. Now, um as far as the hair how well the hair has held up. I want to give it like a four out of five and I'll tell you why because for one let's see let's talk about tangling um the hair does tangle but it's not bad um it's curly hair so um, like right here, back here, the part that like touches like my neck and everything, uh, that's the part that like really like tangles the most, like pieces and like for some reason like this piece, this, these like in the front, the the ends of the front, that part tangles too. But I have with this wig come accustomed to 
spraying it and putting leave-in conditioner and brushing it every morning. Every morning. All right? Listen to me when I tell you this. Now, granted, you can go probably about two or three days. Like, because I don't sleep in my wigs. Like, I come in this motherfucking up. Launch that hoe. As long as the curls ain't really being bothered with, I'm good. And like, in the back, it was getting, like, tangled and stuff like that. And, like, you know, on the sides. Now, it did shed a little bit. But once I started brushing it, and like I said, uh, wetting it and brushing it and putting condition, basically maintaining it every morning, I haven't had any trouble with shit. And so I'm going to say that it only shed it because of operator's malfunction. Like, <laughs> I wasn't, you know, working with it how I should have been. And it was, you know, rebelling. Like, bitch, love me. That's what my wig was telling me. It was like, bitch, love me. And if you're not going to love me, then I'm going to fucking act up. But since I've been giving my wig, love yeah. And all of that. And and tangling go hand in hand. So the tangling is not really that bad and the shit is that, that, not that bad. So, um, let's see what else it is. Now, I already told you, maintenance. Um, curly hair in general is high maintenance like i said i gotta get up every morning and maintain my hair i have to tend to my hair now if you were just looking for something that will help you shave time off of your daily getting ready routine then this is not what you're looking for you're looking for like either straight hair or like a body wave because it's less maintenance it's not as high maintenance as curly hair but um, yeah, overall, I love this wig. Like, I will recommend it to any and everyone. I will also recommend probably uh, <laughs> getting someone else to pluck your front tool if you don't know what you're doing. Or if you're trying to learn like myself, then hey, go ahead. You know what I'm saying? Take a whack at it. Get you some videos you like on YouTube and get the plucking away. Just be careful. Uh, lace front that I had had because I made one before like way way back on my 22nd birthday I made my own or whatever and mm, it was cute or whatever but it's not like how bitches be going front to snap but um yeah so when I was plucking my shit I was just plucking my shit like, <laughs> damn, damn that shit hurt but um <laughs> Yeah, I was just plucking away, and as you can see, it just, it didn't work out for me. So I made this with glueless. I put an elastic band on the back. Let me show it. Let me show it to you. Let me just lift this up. Uh, so obviously this is my wig. This is my wig cap that came with the wig. And then I got an elastic band out. And I, um, Sold it. Right. Let me feel for it. Damn, I lost it. What the fuck, yeah? Okay. Haha. Uh -huh. Right here. Oh, almost fell. So my, I sold my like right along here, like behind my ear. But not like straight up and down. Well, obviously, that wouldn't look seen up and down because my head's tilted. But not straight across like that. Like straight across. It's kind of like diagonal. So, like, it's pulling this part down, but like also putting tension on the whole um, lace. So the lace sits down flat on your head. And it's the same thing on the. Ow. You get it, bitch. Like, this is not a tutorial. Now, just so you know, um, everybody knows elastic loses elasticity. Is that right? I hope so. Bitch is always trying to sound smart on this damn channel. Bitch, I don't know. I'm done. Just about as ignorant as you. So, if I'm wrong, comment and let me know. Um, I sewed it on twice, technically, because I sewed it on the first time and uh, it was good. 
or whatever and then after a little while or whatever probably about like two and a half weeks I um cut it off cut the, the thread and almost like a lace I cut the thread on this side and just tightened it some more cut off the excess that I didn't want and sewed it back in the same spot so that's about it um but yeah so this wig right here is glueless and I'm popping this page so um yeah y'all so make sure y'all go ahead and subscribe to my channel make sure y'all like my video and make sure y'all comment on my video and also don't be afraid to share my video with your friends like if you know a friend or whatever that's trying to get something like short and easy and cute or whatever and you think that they would like this wig not only send them the link for where i got the wig from but also fucking send them this review so they can know like the hair is actually worth the money so help me out and i'll help you out and we both can be on this road to coming from rags to riches because that's all this shit's about i don't want to be a rag doll all my life i want to be a rich bitch too like goddamn so help me and i help you all right y'all love y'all see y'all later